In episode 27 of the Five Things series, we start out with an improvement to the RV lock mechanism. One ritual that we go through every year when we get the RV ready for the season is to replace a whole bunch of batteries. And that also includes our RV lock door lock. There's four batteries in here that we have to replace. And to get to the batteries, you have to take a couple screws out. And after four seasons, I lost one. It's in here somewhere. It fell on the floor and be darned if I could find it. But it's actually pretty small. And this is a M3 metric screw in case you ever lose one. And it's about six millimeters in length. And then you simply take the door off or let it fall off and replace the batteries. I found these two little thumb screws. There's this type and this one. And they're both M3s and about seven or so millimeters in length on the thread side. And the problem is the door has this profile here and the screws will not go in all the way because they hit on the edge here. Well, there's a company called Keystone and they make a lot of electronic hardware and they make a male to female standoff, three millimeters and eight millimeter threads, which is gonna be enough. And the item number is 24289. And just added the standoff to the end of the thumb screw. And now, when I put this in, you see we have enough room to go over this ridge. So now instead of having to possibly drop the screw, I put the cover back on, the thumb screw simply goes in here. Like that. Now the problem solved. And in case you were wondering, it does not impede the little plastic door. We were in Costco the other day getting ready for the 2021 camping season and I ran across this insulated growler and I decided, hey, I have to have this. It does claim that it'll hold cold liquids up to 48 hours or hot liquids up to 12 hours. And it's kind of cool. It's made out of aluminum. I'm trying to remember how much we paid for it, but it was under $20 for sure. So it wasn't that expensive. And it's got a lid that opens like this or like this. So this is useful for when you want to pour the contents in. This is useful when you want to pour the contents out. This also claims to be brewery approved and holds carbonation to keep drinks fresh. And the terms growler and brewery approved can only mean one thing, iced tea. So we put ice in here, put a few scoops of instant tea, raspberry tea, and then we're gonna put some water in. And see how long it stays cold. And so after a day of this setting in the growler, still has ice. Unfortunately though, after 48 hours, we no longer had ice and it was warm. So this growler will keep things cold for 24 hours, not the 48 hours that it states. I recently ran across this product called Posi Twist, and they're terminals for connecting two or more wires together. And they're similar to a twist type connector, although they're a little more expensive. And they bought a combo kit. And of course the different colors are different sizes. And again, these are called Posi Twist, and they do have a butt connector style version where you have a wire that goes on each end. They also make a T-tap style and also a waterproof style. For the waterproof, that might be very well worth the investment. And actually, all of them probably work really well. 
and we'll demonstrate these. You have to unscrew them and then in the center cap you can see that there's kind of a barb or a tip there and this is just a open hole. And how do you use these is you take your two wires that you want to connect together, twist them together like that, then feed them through the opening. Then simply you take the top cap and tighten the top cap down. And what that little barb in the center does is it clamps the two wires to one side. And now this is a very strong connection. So these are good for somebody that does not want to use the top hat type style or the standard butt connectors and crimp them because not everybody likes to crimp. And these are better than the twist on that you know the normal electrician would use. So very nice connector. Well my wife received this Goal Zero solar lantern for Christmas from my youngest son. And she suggested, why not wait until camping season when you can do a review on it? Okay, so we're doing the review. This has three different levels of white light, plus it has a multicolor mode. So we'll take it out of the package and try it out. When you first open it, it does say that it's in demo mode, so you have to press the power key for 10 seconds to take it out of that mode, which we've done. It also comes with a USB port so that you don't have to charge it with the solar power. And here's a solar cell. And essentially that's all there is to it. And the way that you work it is the first press turns it on, second press dims it a little bit, third press dims it a little farther, fourth press turns it off. Then if you press and hold it for two seconds, and double click it after that then you go into a color mode and each time you click it we get a different color while it's not hard to find exterior waterproof led strips it can be hard to find strips that are uv rated so what i like to do in those cases is you can buy some Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating and you simply spray over strips and they will be protected from UV damage and this works with anything basically that this will stick to paint, plastics, whatever. Visit rv-project.com